Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my reaction video to Tengoku Daimakyo, Heavenly Delusion, episode number three. Last episode, we have um, seen the monster is not really, uh, cannot be communicated with the mother, and the mother got killed. We killed the monsters and then ran away from the hostel. We also found a village that is purely made by um, people who are just seeking for nature. And ended up the episode with a confession. And um, I guess see, we are going to see the continuation from that point. So without further ado, let's jump straight to the episode in 3, 2, 1, now. Thundergate, Kaminanimo, five years ago. Really? Five years ago it was this busy? September... Electro cart, electro car race. I see. Interesting. It's like go karting, but with electric electric cars. Takehaya. She's pretty fast. Haruki. Ooh, debris. Why are we chasing these guys? That's her younger brother. Ooh. Who is this guy? We know this guy. Robbing. Fake tickets. Forgeries, huh? <laughs> wow, what a cut. So we're going to see some flashbacks from um, Kiruko. Mm -hmm. Opening. I really love this style of the opening here. It's showing us a completely different style compared to the actual show. And I think it's a good thing here. I think the song itself really depicts the atmosphere of the show really well. You know, it's like an end of the world. Emptiness. Innocence, adventure, <laughs> running away from something. Tengoku Daimakyo. Oof. Avoid eyes. Color. Oh, really? Robbing, that's his name. Haruki. Monkey. Crow and a mouse. Robin gave it to you. OK. 
Okay. Disqualified. That's the doctor. Kiriko. Nice. Photos. Ah, that's the only picture of the doctors. Man eater. Experiments. Really? Oh, is that rumor true? Current in use. Kiriko and Haruki take. Ta Takehaya. Freezing. Oh, no, what is happening? Man eater. Damn, Haruki, why? That's a crossbow. Okay. Want to be independent. Takehaya. Kiriko, Haruki. Kiriko to Haruki. Nice. Ah, he lost the sister. Overprotective? <laughs> Damn, why would you have so many watches? Damn, so many unique characters here. Maybe not unique, but eccentric. Kaminari mon. What's that sound? Man eater? Wow, it's a, it's a transparent man eater. People can't hear him. <clears throat> you need to find a commentator, or maybe find find Robin. Oh, don't do it yourself, you idiot. Oh, it's a nail crossbow. Nah, no, I have the bad feeling. Clash. Oh, isn't that a fan? We saw it in the village. Nope, it's there. Ooh. Doesn't work. Yeah. Run, you idiot. Oh, he got distracted. <laughs> What's that knife going to do anything? Run, you idiot. 
Stop being reckless. Ooh, I apologize. He was doing something. Oh no. He's going to get absorbed. Oh no, he's getting absorbed. Terrifying. It's eating you. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't go it go after it by yourself. Oh no. Is he dead? Wow. What are we going to do? Did you actually do anything? Ah. These scars are from this crash. Ooh. I think he's being absorbed already. It's probably only half of his body. Of course. Such an idiot. Nobody can save him. What a tragedy. Gunshot. Where's that gunshot coming from? And who got shot? Okay, it's a flashback of another flashback. The sister is carrying Haluki. Traveling together. What is that red line? Blood. Currently in use. Orphanage. What is that? Ah, I see. Your head. It's so hot. Wait a second. The Haruki somehow survived. And his consciousness been transferred to somewhere. I think the doctor is doing something right now. What? Gunshot. What has been cut in half? Oh, did he? Did we take out his brain out? Is that what that imagery is trying to tell us? Huh. E. Okay, higher. What is happening? Somebody tell me. Okay, I think we did something to Haluki's brain. One child is dead.
Haruki is inside his sister's body. Ah, uh, I see. I see. He's the Haruki. Where's the sister? Interesting. Interesting. No, it's not. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's the doctor. He left. Both on verge of death. Ha, huh, okay. Interesting. But how is the sister nearly dead? Yeah. Somebody shot her, maybe. No, somebody shot her. I think it's the gunshot. Yeah. Mm hmm <laughs> That's why he called himself Ha Kiruko rather than Kiriko. I see. This is extremely interesting now. Interesting. That's impossible. Last September. Murdered. Disappearance. He ended up disappearing too. Did everyone else disappear? The other children disappeared. Director. Huh. Did they went to the heaven? Moved. Maybe they went to the heaven? Ha. Well, this must be so shocking to him. Now the hair color is different as well. Interesting. Interesting. That's why she went on to the journey. Missing. Yeah. We do have a picture. And we and also the doctor. I see. Trip guide. Survivor. I see. Ha <laughs> ha. That's very bizarre story.
<laughs> On nature. You're cute. Inazaki Luo Bing. Family. <laughs> yeah, what a grand story for rejection. What? A huge fish? The man eater again? Damn, that's terrifying. Wait a second, the fish with the hands? Fish with the hands, what? Oh, come on. Ending already? Ah. Uh, that is super interesting. Now we learned more about Haruki and uh, Kiriko. Or Kiriko. And the Doctor. We learned a lot more about our motivation and what happened from the past. So, Kiriko and Kiriko are different person. Haruki is inside the sister's body by the brain transplant and we are trying to find a doctor to look for the answer. My guess is the sister might be dead because she might have been shot through the head by either Robin or doctor. I don't know why Robin would do that, but that's just my guess. And this fish with the hands, this imaginary creature become a reality. Could it be this supposedly heaven is creating the monsters? Could it be these children unconsciously are generating these monsters into the real world? Hmm. Damn, fascinating. Alright, do we have anything after the ending? Oh, we do. A fish. Cuckoo. A baby. <laughs> Where the drawing? Tokyo doesn't look like uh, Maru here. A real baby? Where have you seen it? Real baby doesn't have faces? Ooh, okay, we are foreshadowing for setting up for the next episode. Lovely, lovely. Damn, this anime is super interesting. A fantasy, a dark fantasy, I should call it. Um, can't wait to see the next episode. And uh, as usual, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave down in the comment sections below about your prediction with, you know, who killed the Kiriko and uh, who's the real one responsible for behind everything. Do you think those children actually created the monsters? Let me know. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.